It used to be they had no inclination to escape at all. And, and there's a little two-wire uh, flimsy fence, and that would just sort of, that would keep them in. And, uh, and I'd come out in the morning, and I, oh, geez, the gate didn't latch, and the gate's wide open, and, you know, everybody's in the barn waiting for the grain. And so it hadn't been a problem, and, and their culture just kind of changed a little bit. A couple of the males got some wanderlust, and, and so I've been adding uh, more, you know, stuff, uh, like that, that front gate is a new fence because of the time that they got out about a year ago. So I got that put in. And, uh, and now we're never going to leave a gate open again. <laughs> yeah, there he is, just keeping an eye on things. Whoops, he went over and bashed the heater. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I've always loved animals, and I don't have a family, and I feel like, you know, I wanted something to take care of. I was looking around at llamas, at their, they're kind of snooty, and everybody's got llamas. And I've, you know, I've always liked things that are a little bit different. Well, I don't know what the reading's been, but I think it's about a degree warmer, so. My brother called me and said, your oryxes are on the news. <laughs> they're out. Or, what? And uh, so I go running out and count noses, and I, and I figure it's yellow nose, and I look around for him. He's very easy to recognize because of wide set horns. And yeah, yellow nose isn't there. And actually, I miscounted, and um, or didn't see everybody. Or so. they're hard to count. Everybody's, and uh, and I thought three males had headed out, and they might be heading out to form a bachelor herd, which is going to make it them uninclined to come back. But uh, it was just yellow nose, and uh, he wouldn't want to leave the herd. Uh, but he would get chased away for a little while by the dominant male, but then something scared him and he started running. And these guys panic easily. Uh, that's their, that's good for them to get some exercise. Got a vet to come out on uh, Sunday and uh, dart him, bring him into the trailer, get him down here, give him the reversal agent. And it took him a long time to come around. And then uh, he was standing up and looking okay. And the next morning, he was in here eating, eating uh, hay, and I gave him some grain, and he gobbled that down. But I called the vet because he still hadn't joined the herd, you know. It's, and uh, the vet said, well, the meds could be affecting him still, and you should check him for hypothermia. So I got a blanket. I thought, well, maybe I can at least throw a blanket on his back or something. And the blanket freaked him out so much that then he ran. And he ran, came up into the barn, went into the safe room, got the doors closed on it, got a heat lamp. And, and then I put some grass hay in there. He ate that, so uh, not sure, but um, <laughs> I've said this before, but I think we're out of the woods now.